Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a tough challenge that many of us have faced, reviving the garden after a storm. If your garden took a beating, don't worry. We've got some simple steps to help you bring it back to life. Let's get started. The garden is shown with broken branches, flattened plants, and debris scattered around. First things first, we need to assess the damage. Take a walk through your garden, see what's been hit the hardest. Look for broken branches, uprooted plants, and any debris that needs clearing. A pair of gloved hands picking up fallen branches and leaves, placing them in a wheelbarrow. Clearing debris is the next step. Grab a pair of gloves and a wheelbarrow or a large bag. Remove any broken branches, leaves, and other debris. This helps you see what needs the most attention and prevents further damage to your plants. Hands with pruning shears, trimming damaged branches and stems. Now it's time to prune and trim. Cut back any broken branches and stems to just above a healthy leaf or bud. This encourages new growth and keeps the plant healthy. Remember, it's better to trim a little more than to leave damaged parts that could rot. Hands replanting a small shrub that was uprooted, using a stake to support it. If any plants were uprooted, gently replant them in their original spots. Make sure the roots are covered with soil and water them well. For larger plants, or those that are still wobbly, use stakes to provide support until they re-establish themselves. Hands spreading compost and mulch around the base of plants. Storms can deplete the soil of nutrients, so give your garden a boost with some compost or well-rotted manure. Spread it around the base of your plants and add a layer of mulch to help retain moisture and protect the roots. Hands watering the garden with a gentle spray from a hose. Water is crucial after a storm. Even if it rained a lot, the soil might be compacted, preventing water from reaching the roots. Water your plants deeply and regularly, especially in the first few weeks after the storm. Hands placing decorative items like garden gnomes or small lanterns. Lastly, add some finishing touches to make your garden feel welcoming again. Place some garden decorations, tidy up the edges, and maybe add a few new plants to replace any that were lost. The revitalized garden with healthy plants and decorative items gently swaying in the breeze. And there you have it. With a little bit of love and care, your garden can bounce back even stronger after a storm. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more gardening tips. Happy gardening and we'll see you next time. The Garden with a Gentle Breeze, links to other videos and a subscribe button. Check out these videos for more gardening inspiration and tips. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos.